to review le passé composé, there are a lot of little pieces that we need to know. First of all, to form le passé composé, we have a helping verb, avoir or être, plus a past participle, a participe passé. The past participle is the verb itself, the action that we're showing that happened in the past, like fait, fini, vu. That's how we form le passé composé. If the helping verb is avoir, it's conjugated j, tu a, il a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. If the helping verb is être, we have je suis, tu es, il est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont. As far as which verbs use avoir and which verbs use être, it's easier to think about which ones use être. 17 special verbs use être, like aller, arriver, entrer, rentrer, rester, retourner, monter, tomber, venir, revenir, devenir, descendre, sortir, partir, passer, naître, and mourir. We also use être with reflexive verbs, verbs that have se in the infinitive, like se laver, se coucher, s'amuser. All the other verbs use avoir, every other verb ever. If it is not on this list, if it does not have se in the infinitive, it uses avoir as a helping verb in le passé composé. Past participle rules are the same for avoir and for être. Regular verbs end in e, e accent aigu, i pronounced i, or the letter u pronounced u. And then irregular ones are covered here. Here are some common irregular ones for avoir verbs. U, bu, été, connu, couru, lu, pu, vu, reçu, su, tenu, voulu, mis, pris, compris, dit, écrit, and fait. And then out of our Dr. Mrs. Vandertramp ones, here are the irregulars. Venu, revenu, devenu, né, mort. The biggest difference between verbs that use avoir and verbs that use être in the passé composé, avoir verb past participles are just plain fait, vu, compris, voyagé, with no extra endings or agreement. Whereas être verb past participles have to agree with the subject of the sentence in both number and gender. Je suis venu might get an extra e because je might be feminine. Elle est venue definitely gets another e. Ils sont venus gets an s on the end. So the main difference in passé composé is that avoir verbs don't have agreement, être verbs might. Here are some examples. You can see that être verbs might have extra endings on the end, whereas avoir verbs do not. Otherwise, they have a lot in common. They have two parts, a helping verb and a past participle. They also have in common how to make them negative. You put ne or an apostrophe and pas around the helping verb. And then with adverbs, you put short adverbs in front of the past participle. Nous n'avons pas été, we were not. Elles ne sont pas rentrées, they did not come home. Elles ont déjà pris, they already took. Tu n'es pas encore sorti, you have not gone out yet.